everyone, it's AJ. I am often asked, how do I clean and care for my hand tufted rugs? And as you can see, these are some rugs that are in kind of a rough condition. This rug in particular, I made when I was first learning how to tuft. And it's made from acrylic yarn, which is kind of falling apart a little bit. It's a very high foot traffic rug, as well as this one, which kind of serves as a doormat for me. So there's just a lot of dirt buildup. And these two checkered rugs are fairly low traffic, but I did want to give them a cleaning today as well. This one is made from wool from Jan Rugs on Etsy, and it has lasted really well. I think it was actually the first rug I ever made. I am often asked if hand tufted rugs are machine washable. Now unfortunately they are not. We are going to get into the options for how to clean and care for your hand tufted rugs, but for all of your machine washing needs, I'm really excited to introduce the sponsor of today's video which is True Earth. True Earth makes these laundry detergent strips that I have been using for a couple months now. I am just so thrilled with the fact that a product like this exists. These laundry detergent strips come completely plastic free. They arrive in these paper envelopes and the detergent comes in the form of strips. Instead of purchasing huge plastic jugs of laundry detergent, these dissolve into your wash. One strip is for a single load of laundry. Two strips is for a heavy load, or you can tear apart one strip for a light load. All you have to do with this laundry detergent is just toss it into your washer where it will dissolve and clean your clothes incredibly well. I personally love the fragrance free option, but it does also come in a fresh linen scent or a baby formula, which is also fragrance free. I can honestly say that I'm never going back to liquid detergent. If you want to make your laundry plastic free and join the True Earth movement, you can use code AJMAKES for 10% off your order at True Earth. The first step to cleaning my rugs and caring for them is vacuuming. I vacuum these rugs probably multiple times a week using a high-powered pet vacuum. This just helps kind of freshen up the rugs and prevents dirt from accumulating. So it's something that I do very often. What I have noticed is that the acrylic rug, the semicircle in the middle, doesn't always stand up to agitation from vacuuming and cleaning as well as wool rugs do. And you'll kind of see that as I continue to clean this rug. After vacuuming, I started off using this carpet cleaner that I got for large area rugs because I was curious to see if I could just get like a, a quick clean on this one. And it definitely worked a little bit. As you can see, there's some dirt that has been picked up, but I really wasn't satisfied with the amount of dirt still left on the rug so I tried to kind of clean it like a spot treatment method with some cleaner and just did some scrubbing but it really still didn't work <laughs> very well so I finally used this carpet and upholstery cleaner which is called the Little Green by Bissell and this tool turned out to be my best friend with cleaning all of these rugs. It really requires a lot of work to get a rug to transform from dirty to not dirty, but it works very well. Um, I was just continuously picking up dirt from these rugs after, you know, scrubbing away at it for a long time. These squares in particular were really dark with dirt and now they are looking a lot more fresh and white so I'm definitely very pleased and then this was kind of my rug that I focused the most on it's kind of hard to tell how dirty it is on camera but the before and after will expose <laughs> just how dirty it was
As you can see, there is kind of a brush attached to the head of this machine. I was worried that it was going to agitate the yarn too much, especially on the acrylic piece, um, which it did, and it did kind of like fluff the yarn up in a way that just like doesn't look very clean, but it actually worked really, really well on the wool. This yarn is the rug wool from Tuff the World, and it takes to agitation and saturation very well. So the approach that I took for cleaning this rug was to really saturate it with the water and cleaner solution and then just spend a lot of time like slowly vacuuming all of that water out. So this was the first pass that I did on that rug and I thought it looked pretty good. Um, and then I went and did the same on the checker rugs that I have. These looked pretty good and not super dirty because they're not very high foot traffic. So I just wanted to do like a quick pass over on them and focused a lot on those white squares just to lift up any visible dirt. But I do think that it's worth noting if you are using light colors and you intend to use it in an area where there's heavy foot traffic, it is something to be aware of that you probably will want to invest in some kind of carpet cleaner like this little green machine. They make all kinds of cleaners similar to it. I am really happy with the uh, handheld one that I've been using in this video. As you can see, I lifted up a lot of dirt from these rugs already. I let them dry a little bit longer and then I went through with a vacuum once again just to kind of pick up any like strands or fuzz that kind of got lifted in the cleaning process. I wanted to return to this rug because as you can see it's gotten very shaggy and as I mentioned before some of the acrylic was kind of like falling apart a little bit. What I've noticed with this high foot traffic rug is that the strands of the acrylic yarn just start to kind of like pill up and become just a little bit raggedy looking over time, which is once again why I exclusively use rug wool now because that doesn't happen with any of my wool rugs. It's only this acrylic rug that I made, you know, back when I was first learning that I have issues with. So I also had never used shears on this rug because I just wasn't at that level when I was first starting. So I figured it was probably just a good idea to give it a little trim. Um, and so I did that actually thinking that I would be shearing away some of the dirty parts of it. But what actually ended up happening is I exposed more of the dirt by pulling off the cleaner top that I had just cleaned. So after vacuuming it, I actually went through and cleaned it again with the little green machine. I think that actually helped to take it even to another level of cleanness. I think it just looks so much better now. What acrylic tends to do is it does flat flatten over time, so most likely I will need to continue doing this process every few months. I do feel like I have given this rug another life. I also just went ahead and trimmed some of the fuzzies that kind of formed as a result of agitating the wool, which was very minimal, but um, again, this also kind of exposed where the dirty spots on this rug were, as you can see kind of in the bottom portion. So I went through and kept on going. I probably spent, I don't know, one to maybe two hours, one to two hours on cleaning this rug alone and it was actually so worth it. I just kept pulling up dirt and it just kept looking better and better. It definitely takes time and some elbow grease, but you can completely clean a rug with this method. Yeah, I'm really happy with this machine. I will have it linked down below. And I just used the carpet cleaning solution that came with it and found that it worked really well. 
if you aren't interested in purchasing one of these things i'm pretty sure you can also rent them from like home depot and stuff here's more dirt this is just from this rug after already have having cleaned it a first time that was a second pass that i took and finally now it looks really really clean in my opinion and i'm super happy with it So this is the before. Let's just remember how dirty these rugs were, how raggedy this one looks, pretty nasty gray dirt in those white squares. Yeah, so it needs a lot of love. So here's the before. And here's the after. A huge difference. It was kind of hard for me to tell as I was working, but seeing these two shots next to each other, I, I mean, it's pretty remarkable just how much cleaner and nicer they look. Even the acrylic rug, I've slowly grown disappointed in it just because of the way that it got so dirty and kind of flattened and pilled up in weird ways, but I actually love it again. I think it looks so much better and I'm definitely gonna be more careful about not using shoes on it because that's probably the biggest issue here. But if you do have high foot traffic rugs, this approach to cleaning works very well and I'm very happy with the results. So this is definitely something I'm gonna be doing more regularly. That is all for today's video. I hope this video was as calming and relaxing for you to watch as it was for me to make. I wanna say thank you again to the sponsor of today's video, True Earth. I really hope that this urges you to move toward a plastic-free laundry experience. So don't forget to use code AJMAKES for 10% off your order at True Earth. If you enjoyed, this video please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so i can keep sharing content like this with you in the future good luck on your rug cleaning or laundry cleaning endeavors and i will talk to you soon bye